What's happening, Total Fitness Bodybuilders? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, back again with another instructional video. Now, today we are going to cover following a bodybuilding diet on a budget. And I don't think anyone's going to argue with me that bodybuilding nutrition is the most expensive aspect of following a bodybuilding program. I mean, yeah, buying your gym membership can be expensive initially, especially if you buy like a year in advance or something like that. Uh, setting up a home gym, yeah, that's going to be expensive initially, but it's kind of like a, a one-time thing. But when it comes to food, this is something you got to buy day in, day out, week in, week out, I mean, month after month. It's just going to keep adding up. And before you know it, this is the most expensive aspect of following a bodybuilding program. So what we're going to cover here is uh, some strategies on how you can be a smarter shopper make better food choices, and actually follow a bodybuilding nutrition plan without breaking the bank account. And I think this will be a valuable video for pretty much anybody watching it. So uh, what I'm going to do now is take you on a little virtual shopping trip to Costco. And this just happens to be where I like to get a lot of my groceries because you can buy a lot of the bodybuilding staples in bulk and it works out cheaper than a lot of the, the local grocery stores and stuff like that. But not always. You have to be smart when shopping at these big bulk uh, stores like Costco or Sam's Club or, or whatever you, you have in your area. Uh, you have to be careful because sometimes uh, they may have a big you know, bulk pack of something and you think you're getting a great deal, but when you actually break out the calculator, which I recommend you do, break out the calculator and crunch the numbers on a per serving or per portions uh, amount. And sometimes you can get ahead cheaper at the local grocery store than you can at Costco. Or sometimes you can get ahead cheaper at the dollar store than you can at Costco. And I'll cover that in our video uh, sometimes where you want to be extra cautious when shopping. But uh, again, nonetheless, we're going to jump in now and do a virtual grocery shopping trip and cover some of the bodybuilding staples that you can be including in your own nutrition program. Now when it comes to bodybuilding nutrition, one of the staple foods is chicken. Good old chicken. And when it comes to buying chicken breast, uh, generally speaking, frozen is going to work out cheaper than fresh. Now, the downside to buying frozen chicken is a lot of times it uh, has preservatives added. Fresh is very often better in terms of quality, but again, you're going to pay for that. So if you're on a budget, frozen chicken breasts can be an option to go with. And I know in, in my early days of bodybuilding, I ate my fair share of frozen chicken breasts. Now, another one that you may want to look into uh, that's a little bit cheaper than fresh chicken breast is to go with fresh chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, uh, they have a little bit more fat because it's a dark meat, but they very often work out significantly cheaper than chicken breast. So it's something you might want to look into. Either frozen chicken breasts or fresh chicken thighs uh, could be a way to save some money when buying chicken. And continuing on with the whole fresh versus frozen debate, uh, when it comes to vegetables, Fresh is generally better, but it's going to be more expensive, and of course you can't really stock up on fresh vegetables. You can't buy them in bulk because they're going to go bad. Uh, but when it comes to frozen vegetables, you can buy them in bulk and actually take advantage of some savings. So when it comes to buying your veggies, generally speaking, you're going to come out ahead and save some money by buying these big, large bags of bulk frozen vegetables. So we've got our chicken, we've got our veggies, and we're going to serve that over a bed of rice. And when it comes to buying rice, you can't beat these big jumbo boxes of rice that you can get at Costco. And right here we've got a 3 kilogram box, which is 6.6 .6 pounds of rice for $7.99. And that is a lot of rice. I mean, you can make a lot of healthy bodybuilding meals with chicken, veggies, and rice, and it's not that expensive when you buy them in bulk like this. Now when it comes to buying rice, uh, sometimes you can get this at the grocery store even cheaper than you can at Costco. I mean, I've, I've seen like as big as 50 pound bags of rice at the grocery store. 
So it's something that you want to uh, look into and check out. I mean, break out the calculator and actually calculate out how much it's costing you on a uh, per pound basis and see if it's cheaper to buy it at Costco or the grocery store or whatever. But again, the good thing about rice, you can stock up on it, buy it as cheap as you can, and you've got a staple source of carbohydrates for your bodybuilding nutrition program. Now when it comes to cheap sources of protein, you can't go wrong with canned tuna fish. Now, I mean, I know it's probably not the tastiest food, but it is high in protein, it's low in fat, it's quick to whip up and prepare. So again, it's a staple in a lot of bodybuilding nutrition programs. Now, when it comes to buying tuna, you can get this cheaper uh, at the grocery store, especially if you're buying their own brand. And you can also get this pretty darn cheap at the dollar store. And from my personal experience, I found that the grocery store brand and the dollar store tuna actually works out cheaper than buying it at Costco. Another great bodybuilding food that a lot of people probably don't consider a bodybuilding food is beans. I mean, beans are cheap. They're high in complex carbohydrates. It's a decent source of protein. And they are low in fat, especially if you buy uh, beans without a lot of uh, extra junk added into them. I mean, I know you can get some beans with, with pork and, and fat added in. But if you just buy plain beans and canned beans like this, it's actually a nice addition to a bodybuilding diet. And it's one that you can pick up pretty cheap. Again, check at the grocery stores, check at the dollar stores, because very often you can pick up the canned stuff like this cheaper than you will at Costco. And another great source of carbohydrates that is very inexpensive is oatmeal. And Costco has this Quaker Oats 5 kilo box for $7.99. I mean, that's a lot of oatmeal. You can get a lot of breakfasts for not a lot of money. But again, I'm going to encourage you to check out your local grocery store because very often uh, the store will have their own brand of oatmeal, which is just as good as what Mr. Quaker puts out, and very often it can actually work out cheaper on a per-serving basis. So when you're shopping, I mean, hey, take your calculator with you or break out your, your smartphone and use the calculator app and actually figure out what's the best deal when buying your foods. And another great bodybuilding food is pancakes. I mean, I know a lot of people probably don't consider pancakes a bodybuilding food, but if you're following a mass building or a bulk up program, I mean, this can be a cheap source of carbohydrates and it can just break up the monotony of eating the same stuff over and over again. And uh, when you actually look at the nutritional information, I mean, it's high in complex carbs, it's low in fat, so it makes a, a decent source of carbohydrates when following a mass building bodybuilding diet plan. And to go along with those pancakes, you can uh, wolf down a protein shake. So, I mean, hey, pancakes and a protein shake or a bowl of oatmeal and a protein shake, I mean, that would make a very uh, good bodybuilding breakfast. High in protein, high in complex carbs. And when it comes to buying protein, you can get some good deals at places like Costco. I mean, granted, they don't have a lot of selection when it comes to supplements, but generally speaking, what they do have will actually be uh, cheaper on a gram for gram basis than what you'll find in the supplement stores. So again, if, if you're on a tight budget, you know, you can look into buying your protein powder at places like Costco. Another popular food among bodybuilders is peanut butter, especially natural peanut butter, because it's a very concentrated source of calories. I mean, you're getting some healthy fat, you're getting some protein in there, but the main thing is, again, a concentrated source of calories. So if you're on a mass building program, you can consume some peanut butter to help bump up your caloric intake without adding a lot of food volume. Now, when it comes to buying peanut butter, the natural one is going to be a bit more expensive than the regular peanut butter. So it kind of depends on where you are. I mean, if you're on a really tight budget, hey, go with the regular peanut butter. I mean, in this case, Costco's got a two kilogram jar for less than six bucks. I mean, that's 4.4 pounds of peanut butter, which is a lot of calories for less than six bucks. So if, if you're on a really tight budget, go with the regular stuff. Uh, but I would recommend 
uh, spending the little tiny bit of extra money and getting yourself the natural peanut butter because it's just got less additives and junk that your body really doesn't need. Moving on in our grocery shopping, egg whites. Costco has the best deal on egg whites of any store in the local area around here anyway. And so I always like to stock up on my egg whites at Costco. And of course, the same applies for uh, whole eggs as well. Uh, generally speaking, what I'll do is I'll mix up a combination of whole eggs and egg whites. Uh, so again, both of these, you can't go wrong when it comes to following a bodybuilding program. They're cheap sources of high quality protein. The same applies for dairy products like cottage cheese and Greek yogurt. I like to buy this at Costco as well. Now uh, here in Canada, cottage cheese and Greek yogurt, and I guess just dairy in general, is really expensive. I've always noticed when I've traveled to the United States how cheap uh, eggs and dairy products are. But here in Canada they can be very expensive, so that's why I like to shop at Costco and buy these things in bulk to save some money in the process. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of our shopping. And when it comes to buying meat, I recommend buying a ground beef if you're on a budget. Uh, when you work out the price on a pound for pound basis, uh, generally speaking, ground beef is less than half the price of buying the same amount of meat in the form of steaks or roasts. So again, if you're trying to uh, stretch your grocery dollar, buy ground beef. It's the best value for your money. And when it comes to potatoes, hey, you can't go wrong there. That's another great source of cheap carbohydrates. Uh, right here, Costco's got 10-pound uh, bags of potatoes for $5.50. And uh, you know what? You can probably even shop around and probably get better deals on potatoes at your local grocery store or farmer's market or places like that. But again, you can't go wrong when it comes to buying potatoes. Great source of complex carbs. And it's not that expensive. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and picked up a few shopping tips that will help you save some money when you're following a bodybuilding nutrition program. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to post those in the comment section below, and I'll chat with you down there. Take care. Over and out. And one more thing before you go, make sure to subscribe to the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel. And while you're at it, you can even like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Heck, you can even join the Total Fitness Bodybuilding Inner Circle Coaching Club. And you know what? I even have a free gift for you. You can download a copy of my Bodybuilding Nutrition Made Simple ebook. The link is right there in the middle of the screen. So go ahead, click on those icons, and I look forward to chatting with you in the next video.